Karens are famous for being annoying in any situation. Though what's happened, they behave extremely strange in some cases, they think that law doesn't not apply on her. Today we're going to discuss two major cases when the officers encounter with the angry suspects. I'll fight you, you little blondie. And I'm actually, so what I'm going to do is make out with you. Then choose I go to jail because I have lawyers. Please, 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 please send choose I go to jail. Please, please, please choose I go to jail. On December 1st, 2023, an officer was dispatched to an incident at the airport following a caller's report of a disturbance. Upon arrival, the officer assessed the situation, identifying the nature of the disturbance and taking necessary actions to ensure the safety and order of the premises. The incident was investigated further to determine the cause and involved parties. Your day, my mouth. If you actually want to have sex with me, uh, you can let go of this and kiss me. Upon arriving at the airport, the officer was extremely shocked to discover an intoxicated female assaulting passengers and refusing to listen to anyone. The officer promptly took the female into custody to prevent further incidents. They then began gathering information from witnesses, one of whom provided a detailed account of the events leading to the disturbance. That's her? All right. Is she able to stand up on her own? Okay. You get a wheelchair? Nope. You get a wheelchair? Are y'all fine together? Yeah, all right. Now, just bring it, or, yeah, bring it in. Put a partner right here. Are we going to move out of the way? Help her hey, we got we to gotta help you up, okay? Hey, are, are yeah. you, who are you to her? I'm her mom. Her mom, okay. So I don't know how, how, how the best way to do are it is. Alright, here, so, yeah, this is her mom, so I'm trying to get her get out of the way. I'm going to try to get her up, okay? Yes. Alright, ma'am. We're going to try to help you up, okay? Step up. Alright, we're good. So you stand up. Put her down. And you have everything that you need here? I do. So let me just, so you weren't with her the whole time in the airport? I was, I was with her for like, the whole time until like for five minutes and she went off with shots. And you weren't with her when she was pregnant? No. Okay. I found You are so cute. But yeah. And so apparently, I don't know what happened to transpire on the plane. I know she was seat. Oh, you weren't sitting with her? I was. I, she was sitting like three seats above me. Okay. So I was seeing, I saw the getting unruly and um, just screaming. And so they just... Okay. This witness's testimony helped clarify the situation and revealed the reasons behind the woman's aggressive behavior. The officer documented the incident and coordinated with airport security to ensure the safety of other passengers and restore order. We're just trying to figure out, like, kind of just, because we just got a call that there was some heavy stuff. An incident. Yeah, yeah, an incident. Uh, so you weren't, like you said, you weren't with her. You didn't see what she drank? Um, yeah. she's got bottles of one. I don't know how many bottles she's drank. Well, like, so, okay. and not to mention. Know when she I don't. Like, she started, I think when we started driving down, we stopped at a gas station for her to go to the bathroom, and then she started drinking then, I think. Do you remember about what time that was? Uh, two o'clock or something, maybe? Two o'clock. Yeah, and, she's uh, been drinking instead. All right, you said that you, like, you were on the plane with her. Did she hit anybody? Not that I saw. I mean, I know she was like, I think she was swatting hands away. And who uh, who put her in like the cops there? The one of the flight attendants with assistance of me. Because she was being, was she just kind of throwing a fit, I guess? Yeah, and she was just like, she wouldn't move from the seat. And she kept like swatting them. She's like doing this to like stop them. And I also noticed that uh, like, I mean, she kind of like do this behavior often. No, like this is not common at all. Um, but she doesn't, she hasn't been drinking ballistic out of her mind with What's, alcohol right now. But she's not like that at all. Were you guys originally seated in those seats up there or did you no. guys get moved at all? moved up there so that she would not disturb me. As soon as she has one drink, it's lost to the wall. You can't turn it off. Yeah. So, so she can have one drink and, and get to this point? 
not to this point, but this only escalates when she keeps until she yeah. gets to this point. Okay. Oh, she blacks out. So she she he physically stops. But the last on. like forty five minutes of the flight. Okay. The last forty five minutes of the yeah. flight. Would... Just her being um, asked to move because she was talking to people, okay. um, and so she moved back and and then the woman was like, no, she can stay here, it's fine. And the flight attendant was like, no, you need to move. And so it was back and forth like that. And I wish they would have just come to me because I didn't know. I just saw. I thought they were just over there chatting and talking because it wasn't great. Despite the female suspect's attempts to flirt with the officer, she refused to provide any information related to the incident. The officer, remaining professional and focused, paid no attention to her comments and continued to prioritize the investigation. Instead, the officer relied on witness statements and other available evidence to understand the situation. The officer's professionalism ensured that the investigation proceeded without being derailed by the suspect's uncooperative behavior. I can't. I up. Okay. Can you can you please get your hands get your hands off of me? I will fight you, you little blonde man. And I'm actually so what I'm gonna do is make out with you. Gonna know why? Because I just guess what? <laughs> Can you not? You keep standing up. You keep moving. Oh, I'm gonna kiss you. Oh my goodness. You're cute. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to make out with you. Can you not? Let me see you. Fight? Um, so, Mom, I really feel like I'm being like, okay. Your dick, my mouth, forever. How is that not, how is that fair? If you actually want to have sex with me, uh, you can let go of this and kiss me. And my brother is probably going to put your, oh my god, please put your dick in my mouth right now. Or I will literally shove every in my throat. Go, now, go, go. You won't. You know what I will do? I will literally bend over backwards. Take me home and stop. You're being a And this guy has, yeah, his dick is definitely bigger than yours. Sir, take me up. I want to go home. Take me the up and take me home. I will punch you in your vagina. Your name's Roy. I would hate that too. Pick me up and take me the phone. I will literally do anything you tell me to do right now. Stay seated. After being arrested and placed into the police vehicle, the woman created a scene by shouting loudly and continued to assault the officers verbally. Despite her disruptive behavior, the officers maintained their composure and ensured she was securely restrained. They proceeded with transporting her to the station where further actions would be taken to address her behavior and investigate the incident thoroughly. The officer's priority was to manage the situation safely and professionally, ensuring no harm came to any parties involved. Howdy. Howdy. Yes, ma'am. My manager needs her name. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, no, you're not allowed to use that. Well, she's going to take a picture of your ID because you're a passenger, okay? Um, if you use this moving forward, you guys are done. Use what? I'm fine. Okay. Um, and I also said that I would have sex with this man, so good luck with that. Come on, ma'am. Let's go. Can you please? Can I step on this one? Watch your step. Are you serious? Okay, get in the car. Yeah. Just watch your step, right? Left okay. foot on top. Can you let go of my arm? Correct. No. That's not how it works. Step up. Are you f***ing retarded? Get in the car. Are you guys literally Hold putting... Get in the car. Sir, get in the car. You guys are... Can you let go of that? That's for you. For you? Right. Good. <laughs>
Upon reaching the police station, the woman showed no remorse for her actions and concocted new excuses regarding the incident. Despite her attempts to explain away her behavior, the officer decided to proceed with her detention. She was booked and placed in a jail cell to await further legal proceedings. The officer documented the incident thoroughly to ensure all necessary information was available for the upcoming investigation and potential charges. Samantha, look at me. Look at me. Yes, sir. I told you this is going to be very easy. Are we going to have any problems going into jail? Yes, sir. Because I'm telling you right now, if you in give us jail? any you will be adding additional charges. Do you understand me? We're not going to jail. We are. We're at jail right now. You're going to go to our holding facility. So I suggest you cooperate. I suggest you answer the questions. Otherwise, you will get additional charges. Do you understand me? You're arresting me. Do you understand me? Yes or no? Right now, you're looking at a class C misdemeanor for a PI. Get that ready. Get that button. Do not kick. Do not bite. Do not do anything to one of my officers. You hear me? I'm not doing anything. Okay. Let's go ahead. Step out. Go for it. Step out. Step out. Let's go. You're gonna make this hard. You, when you look, we're gonna no. tell you where I live. Well, I need it for your court paper. Uh, well, so we're not gonna do that. How about a cell phone number? I'm not gonna give you that either. Okay, give you all the effort. Yes, it's just the process. Uh, Samantha, I told you, go with the process. You're making this a lot harder than what it needs to be. Okay. So answer the sergeant's questions. Can I talk to you and the sergeant? Yeah. What do you have? Can I play? Later, she was presented in court where she faced multiple charges, including public intoxication, causing a disturbance, harassment, and assaulting officers. The court proceedings aimed to address her actions and determine the appropriate legal consequences, starting with the most disturbing case when the suspect was too much aggressive and made things worse. All right, stop laughing because you're making me laugh. I'm not. Right, seriously. <laughs> I'm giggling. I'm All sorry. Right, this is a serious deal. On January 15, 2023, an officer was dispatched to an incident involving a female driver who was driving recklessly. Upon arriving at the scene, the officer observed her erratic driving behavior and noted that she appeared unaware of the danger she was causing. You're smiling, I can't help it. All right, sit, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. When the officer reached the incident, they found the female driver inside the vehicle and began their investigation. What they discovered was extremely shocking. The woman was not only intoxicated, but also unaware of her surroundings and the gravity of her actions. This raised serious concerns about her ability to drive safely and prompted immediate action from the officer. Hello. Hey, I'm Officer Smith, I'm going to place Spartan. Nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Smith. Um, I've never heard that before in Travis Stop. I appreciate that. Um, hey, so I'm just stopping you for improper lane use. Sorry, I was stuff. on the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you uh, on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you too. Okay. Yeah. Zachary? Okay. Yeah. You can talk to him if you where, want. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from JJ's. I just got off. I'm going to Street. Street? Go home. Yeah. Okay. You live on Street? <laughs> yes, sir. In Bentonville? Yep. How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite. Yes. <laughs> I won't lie to you, a Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had. Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. I don't really want to talk I to Zachary. I know you don't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Do you have your driver's license? Yes, sir. Um, here's these two, my insurance and registration. Yeah, I can smell it from across the car. Oh, yeah. This shoe's all over the road. All right. Where are we at on it? Awesome. Brooke. Yes. Teague. Am I saying that right? Teague? Yes. Like baseball league. Teague like baseball league. That's yep. <laughs> <laughs> it helps people spell it because they never spell it correctly. 971. Tough one. All right, Brooke. Hey, would you want to do some field sobriety tests to make sure, sure you're good to go? Yeah. All right. Observing signs of intoxication, the officer decided to administer several tests to confirm the woman's condition. During the horizontal gaze nystagmus, HGN test, the situation took an unexpected turn as the woman began flirting with the officer. Her behavior was so overt and persistent that the officer couldn't help but smile briefly, despite maintaining professional composure. Nevertheless, 
the officer continued with the test to accurately assess her sobriety. You wear glasses or contacts? I am blind, but you're, I don't wear contacts because I had a cataract issue. Okay. Do you have say, do you want a jacket? I do not, but I'll be fine. Take a step forward for me. All right. Put your feet together like mine, heel to heel, toe to toe, keep your arms at your side, and just relax. Okay, look straight ahead. You see it's hit my finger? Yes, no? Yes. All right, fall with your eyes, don't move your head. Do you understand that? Okay. Okay. You, you want to move your hair a little bit for me? Appreciate it. All right, right here, okay? Don't move your head. <laughs> You're making me giggle, I'm sorry. He makes me giggle too, it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I snore. I'm from Sorry. Huntsville. We're, we're supposed to be professional. I'm from right? Huntsville. Isn't yeah. gonna make me snore. Everybody, let's okay. Let's, sorry. Get, let's get it together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stop laughing because you're making me laugh. I'm not. Right? Seriously. <laughs> I'm giggling. I'm All right, sorry. This is a serious deal. All yeah. right. Okay. All right. Hands at your side, though. I can tell you're trying to laugh, and it's making me laugh. Get it. <laughs> You're smiling. I can't help it. <laughs> All right, sit, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm just All right. smiling. No, I don't I'm know. sorry. Anyway, I get nervous. As the female continued to flirt, the officer remained steadfast in their professional duties, recognizing the severity of the situation the officer decided to take her into custody to ensure public safety. She was transported to the police station for further investigation, where more thorough sobriety tests and questioning could be conducted to address the incident properly. All right, remember to keep your arms at your side, okay? You can begin whenever you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, All right, whenever you're ready. Keep arms at your side, okay? Out of your pockets. One second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six second, seven second, eight second, nine second, ten second, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How much you've actually had a drink? I've had two Millers. Two Millers now? That's it? Yes, sir. You can call Mitchell, the manager. Okay. Well, hey, go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? The police officer arrested the intoxicated female, placed her in the police vehicle, and transported her to the station for further investigation. It was evident that she was drunk during the incident and was driving recklessly without regard for anything. So here. Oh my God, is there a dog? There is a dog. Where? He's over there. Over here. What's his name? His name is Kolyak. Kolyak? You stand up. I'm gonna take those off of you. Okay. okay. Turn. Around. If you let go of that finger, it'd be easier. There you go. Not too that wasn't too tight, was no. it? You can have a seat. <clears throat> oh, are y'all in the middle of this? Yeah. Oops. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a refusal. Bone? I can do that for you. Not at the moment. Well, because of this right here, and then at some point, um, 30 minutes less. I promise you don't. I know I don't right now. If it was Yeah. Right now he's in work mode. I know I understand completely. <laughs> That's my dog. Not even looking. That's my dog. Is that your dog? What's his name? His name is Coach. Coach? I have three dogs. I have a dog in here, a great day, and then a basket. Wow. That's a lot. Alright, so your final result, again, this is the end of this point zero eight. 
You blew a point one four. Um, so this is the official notice that the suspension, revocation, or disqualification of your driving privilege will begin at midnight of the 30th day from the date of arrest. You have the right to an administrative hearing to contest the revocation, suspension, or disqualification of your driving privilege within 20 days from your request for hearing. You must request a hearing within seven calendar days of this notice being given or your request for an administrative hearing to contest the oh, hearing to contest will be denied. The attached request for hearing form contains additional instructions. Your vehicle registrations will be suspended if you are charged with a second or subsequent alcohol or drug offense within five years of the first. If you hold a commercial driver's license, your commercial privilege will be disqualified whether you are in a commercial vehicle or a non-commercial vehicle at the time of arrest. The officer is required by law to take all license certificates in your possession and if you have a valid license, issue a temporary license effective for 30 days. You are required to surrender your driver's license if you have it with you. This document is your receipt for the license surrendered. So I have to take this and send it to driver control in Little Rock, okay? However, Brooke, it's really important you pay attention to this, okay? <laughs> So, Brooke, I need you to focus because this is your, this is the important way to get your license back. I have two jobs and I have to work. I get that. And there are ways around that, okay? Later, she was brought before the court where she faced charges for driving under the influence and driving recklessly. The court proceedings aim to address her actions and determine appropriate legal consequences. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you all liked it. Feel free to share your thoughts in comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you will never miss any episode of our enthralling series.